Hello and welcome. We're playing Warframe on the Switch. Um, and boy, is that volume quite loud. Which is odd because I've got it set to like five. That's literally like at one that is loud. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. It's just very loud. Um, yeah, we're going to play uh, Warframe on the Switch. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. Um, quack. Hello, yes, quack. Um, anyway, if you're unfamiliar with Warframe, it is a game where you play a space ninja in fetish gear. Um, that is basically how this game works. When playing with the Joy-Con tap strap, we are using a trusty pro controller. That won't be a problem for us unless the game requires Joy-Cons, which is I will have to use a Joy-Con, but hopefully we can play this game fully with the controller. Um, I played Warframe a bit on the PC, uh, and on the PC it's pretty fantastic. Um, this is... So the easiest way to describe Warframe, other than space ninjas in, spe in fetish gear, um, the, the easier way to describe Warframe is that it is... the game that Destiny wants to be when it grows up. Okay. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Right, it wants me in. Huh. Now let's see if we can use my Nintendo network ID. That's probably what I need to use. Let's hope this doesn't display any important. It is going to display important personal information. Uh, sign in. Let's just sign in. Let's hope that all works. That's my Nintendo network ID for everyone. Sorry. Uh, I agree. Full frame. A display name. Uh, I bet my preferred display name is already taken, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, that's right, you gotta click the stick to do shit. Okay. It's not like the PlayStation where it's one of the triggers. That. Hopefully that works. That works. Doesn't appear to be taken at all. Nice. Panic Button did the um did the work on this. And Panic Button are amazing. But... Um safe area built out, there we go. Panic button, um so that'll be for the user interface, I guess. This looks really rough on my screen. Wow. There is a massive amount of colour banding. You guys can't see this on the stream. Um, because it's coming through on the stream. The nature of this monitor is such... But no, continue. The nature of this monitor is such that... Yeah. So, Warframe is the game Destiny wants to be when it grows up. And starts getting weird fetishes. Um, it's it's genuinely fantastic. It is fully free to play. Um, it does have uh, microtransactions that are generally pretty okay. Actually, I found like my experience, the microtransactions are fine. For generations, you've um, slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. Really curious to see how this runs on the Switch. The other now, benefit of the Switch version is I get to start again, which is something you can't do in the main one, in the original game. Like once you start playing Warframe, you are committed to playing Warframe. There is no multiple characters, there's no, like, you just... The only way to change your character up... Um, the only way to change your character up... Is, uh, to... Uh, yeah, start again. Or, or to get new frames, basically. Um, I do apologise for the late start tonight. Um, I was, uh, watching the cricket. Uh, my excuse, and I'm gonna stick to it. Let's this is very loud. My headphones. I don't know how loud it is on the on the game, but the it is very loud. My the sisters have sent their most I just realized I haven't. There's something I need to do. On an urgent mission. Just bear with me a moment. While I... To protect the twisted crusade they have yeah. begun. To transform the scattered colonies. Uh, and the other thing I need to wear. To see that the tenno hidden and asleep. So I'm going to freeze in place for a moment. 
I got caught. Okay, everything else is fine. Cool, 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 cool. cool. It's a long take. So, Warframe. Um, this was developed by Panic Button, who also did the excellent ports of uh, Wolfenstein and Doom uh, to the Switch. And Panic Button have an interesting history uh, in that they are... Okay, okay. So, you can start with different Warframes. When I played in PC, I started with Excalibur, but I'm not gonna... I'm gonna see what else I can do. You got Mag, Vault, and Excalibur. Um, so... Um, fundamentally, you're basically doing the shoot bangs. Um, so this just affects your special abilities that you have access to. Um, so this is kind of, if you want fast moving, yeah, mobility. Ideal Warframe for new players. Mag is expert at energy manipulation, can polarize, crush, magnetize the bones, all that stuff. And Bolt has shock, speed, and electric shield. High damage Warframe potent for players want a potent alternative. Unplay. Uh, kind of like Bolt, actually. Try Bolt. I think I'm going to go with Mag, though, to start with. I played Excalibur, and Excalibur's fine, but Excalibur's kind of boring. And optimally, what I'd want is uh, is I can't remember the name name of the one I have. I, I've got like four on the PC. I'll go with Mag. Yeah. Wake up, ten on ten on. So. If you're expecting me to see, if you're expecting to see any Fortuna content in this, um, good luck. There isn't going to be any because this is the Switch version. I'm starting again. I'm not sure Fortuna is available on the Switch. Is it? Did it come on the Switch? Hi, hey, Nick. What are you up to? I noticed you started following me the other day. We are taking this one with us. What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I am surging your Warframe's power system. Quick, use your power. Defend yourself. Use your power now. Wow, that's really good. It's so much better than the other Warframes. Figured it out. An extraction ship is on its way, but the Grenier will be hunting you. Arm yourself. Uh, I need to pick up a weapon or just go forward. I'll... So the other thing with Warframe is that you generally play it um, uh, by basically using speed run strats. I can use bow or the sword. Sword. Cool. They have cool melee attacks, all that good stuff. Yeah, so you play this game basically by, um, yeah, okay. There's a cache of weapons ahead. Grab what you can. Also, you can instant kill enemies from behind. Buy a semi auto. Uh, we, we, we are going to take the piss. I'm not playing. I, I tried this in the original. I try. I, I want to be stealthy bow guy. Um, bows Good. in this game are trash. The extraction point is up ahead. Hurry before Vor finds out you've escaped. The PC version works perfectly fine with the Switch Pro Control. And the resolution's kind of rough, isn't it? Salvage team, why have you not reported in? I should stream this on PC, but I, I just... I feel like I'm such a newbie at this game, like, I don't play it enough to... You will require resources to build yourself into a diverse and effective warrior. Nah. On the Switch, everything is wide. It's actually the same buttons, um, it's just because the Y button on the Switch is a different spot. Um. Yeah, so swords are pretty good. 
You made it. There's the extraction ship. Oh no, my ship got blown up. <sighs> Doesn't seem particularly happy. You're not ready to face war now. Use your melee weapon to block the beam and get inside. My decrepit heart is pounding. This one is stronger than the rest. Lock the area down. This Tendo is mine. Quick, get to the console and release the lockdown. Do that, and I will guide you to your old ship. It's your only chance. The Queens want to destroy you, but I need to know more. Get out of there, Tenno. You will have to face four another time when you're fully restored. Okay, so this is what I mean about the movement. So the way you move in this game is you sprint. We need that Tenno. Sprint, you slide, you jump, you roll, right, and you basically play speed run strats. It's crazy how everyone moves. I, I could I could not kill those guys too. If I were. A tunnel flows like fire over the battle terrain. Do you that remember did. how to dash across walls? Oh, uh, jump on the Movement in this game feels so good. Okay, so bows are trash in this game, don't use bows. I'm just warning you right now. I mean, bows are fine, I'm but sure they take a, require a level of skill that I'm not now. personally just capable of. Your ship is up ahead. Um, but more importantly than that, they're actually not as good as guns, like you just don't do as much damage. There, there are kind of circumstances where bows are fine. But if you're starting out Warframe, you are definitely better off with the guns. Don't worry about the bows at first. Cycle between all your weapons. You always got your melee button on a. There it is, your ship. Hurry. Oh, bit of frame drop there. Must be on their way. This game runs fine, but boy, is that a low resolution. Like the resolution scaling. Disengage scaly. the suppression system oh, so we can panda. restart the ship. You'll have to bypass the security on that panel. Oh, this is where we learn about hacking. Oops, that was not the button to press there. That was not the button to press there. Okay, I got the hacking down that time. Game froze up badly. Stop touching me, you. What? Are my senses deceiving me? Operator, is that you? Enemy reinforcements are here. Ship Cephalon, we require immediate extraction. The operator is in danger? I will need a few moments to cycle the engines. So, the computer that runs your ship is a little bit, um, a little bit funny. You cannot hide from these old eyes. I've marked you. You will return to me. Remains inbound. You know one big difference between the Switch version and the PC version? The joystick sensitivity on the Switch feels a lot better. On the PC version, even at the lowest setting, I find the joystick sensitivity really high. And it is near unplayable on my the ship computer. Is ready. It's time to leave. Okay, we did it. Oh boy, we escaped. That plays really well. I'm really impressed with how well that plays. Yeah, the combat's really fun. Like, it, it's basically third-person shooter combat. Um, it's a little bit different with bows because you you, you have the the bow aiming is a little bit uh, different, um, and you got like the draw, the pullback type of uh, thing with the bow. But otherwise, yeah, it's basically it's basically third person. Um, it's really fun. Um, and the game's rewards and loot structure is really clever. It's not a it's not a Diablo style loot system like uh, like a say a. Um, you have returned. Um, oh, I got, Ships I'm not going to use that right now, but I've got one. Oh no, it automatically activates, I doesn't it? The operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct. I will understand. 
So I was talking before uh, about Panic Button. You can see that this game is not running at a super high resolution. I'm running it through a 4K monitor, so it's a bit more obvious with me. But you can see it's very pixelated. Um, and that's probably not surprising given that this game this is... Mess. Those savages. Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? Um, so yeah. Personal management could be restored if the Panic Button, as I said before, Panic Button did the, uh, the, the Doom... Uh, if you need this game, just download it. It's free to play. Um, it's on Steam. You can download it off Steam, or you can just go to the official website and uh, download it there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's... Panic Button uh, did the Doom and Wolfenstein 2 ports to the Switch. They did excellent jobs on those, but the, the, the big thing that their ports have in common, and this one, this one as well, um, do I actually... We need to figure out what Captain Vore has done to you and stop him, but we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Before I do that, I want to talk about some of the other Order mechanics, but I also want to finish talking about Panic Button. So, Panic Button are the team that developed uh, one of the very first games that ever used... Um, how cool do I look? Oh, look at that face. What cool is that face? So, they're, they're the team that developed one of the very first games to ever use dynamic resolution scaling way back on the original Xbox, um, a game called uh, The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay um, was the name of the game, and they developed that and uh that was one of the very first games to use dynamic resolution okay so let's talk about a couple of things here so you can see these all say unranked ranking things up is how you level up in this game when you use something it gains levels it can level up to a maximum of 30. to gain every time you get things past certain level you earn mastery points mastery points are the main progression system um I have a switch Yes, I, I'll just rush out and buy you a Switch tomorrow, shall I? Um, yes, but but yeah, that that's mainly how it works. Now, now these are the warframes. Let's talk about warframes. So warframes are basically your advertising game. Now you probably heard uh, the the the, um, the voiceovers refer to me as an operator. That's because I'm essentially remote controlling this thing, which is my warframe. Um, you don't see the operators except for the part of the game where you do spoilers um but yeah in general now you might also notice that these warframes cost money they cost this money that is the real currency that is the currency you pay real money for um and they look fantastic and we can uh i believe i can preview these warframes too so we can take it we, we we saw ash before um yeah so you can see what ash looks like there that that was the other option we had the one i have on pc i've got four on pc now. this this is the one i really like on pc this is this is actually a bow focused one uh, it's called avara um and it's really cool and the other one i have is is it in Aros? oh it's not in Aros. the other one i have It's a gun shooty one. It's a really cool looking one. No, Ross. I, I've recolored it, so I don't remember what it looks like. I've fully recolored it. Yeah, no, it's not in our Ross. Um, but I've got another one as well, and it's a pretty cool looking one. I can't even see it here. I couldn't even tell you what it is. Oh, it's not there. But these are the Warframes, and they all have different abilities and different powers and stuff like that. Uh, if you've never played the game, this is kind of where you do all your stuff. Hard to use. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't continue. We're, we're going to stick with uh, our mag for the moment, because we want to rank this up. Uh, we'll learn more about the other stuff we can do here. So auto detects your region. Hit. Uh, okay, so this is our... Okay, so you got a lot of the same options in here. Nice, nice. Gameplay, allow invites. I don't want invites. Allow from friends. Region boxes. Is that, is that what's going on there? 
Okay, right, 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 yeah, yeah. We might, oh, nope. Might need to do that. Gameplay uh, region auto detects. My region is Oceania. Set that to Oceania. Ah, go back. Get that match making thing. Yeah, that looks, that looks all good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. I'm just going through here because there's a lot of options. Um, we're not going to need to worry too much about them. Adaptive exposure, nice. I mean, occlusion, wow. Wow, you can actually... These are some incredible options for a, for a console game. You don't usually get these kind of options in a console version. I'm going to leave them as they are because uh, they're clearly tuned for... Clearly tuned for what I need. Yeah, I play I play Warframe a bit on the PC. I'm not very good at. It. I've never really gotten super deep into it, but I've put maybe 50 hours into it um, on PC. Uh, so I, I like it. It's a good fun game. Um, okay, so where did we need to go? We need to restore ship comms. We need to go. There. So the majority of Warframe takes place. Okay, so we need to talk a little bit about how Warframe works now versus how it used to work. The majority of Warframe is based on procedurally generated areas that you go through across a vast number of planets, um, all of which are in our solar system. Um, but they've been changing that formula up in more recent years um so this game first came out i think 2013 um like it was i first heard about it when it first came to the ps4 which would have been within the first month or two of the ps4 having come out the Ascaris is working breaking through i see the shadows of your mind um and this the content we're playing through at the moment is actually fairly early content Later on they got a bit more ambitious, and the last two major updates, Planes of Eidolon and, uh, Planes of Eidolon and, uh, Fortuna, which just came out the other this week, um, a massive open world measures. zones. How you defeat those measures is up to you. Massive open world zones. And, uh, like, they're wildly different to what the game is and what it is now and this is the thing with Warframe that you, you suddenly have to get your head around is the fact that this game started as something completely different to what it is now like we're seeing very basic uh, levels of what it actually is so that is pretty satisfying And yeah, normally, normally your movement's more like this in Warframe. You, you're just constantly doing this all the time. How everyone plays Warframe. I can't go through that door. Sorry. Wait, seriously? Oh, hell, no, 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 no. I can't go through that door. I missed, I missed the access panel. You are nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Yeah, so spy missions are annoying because they have this whole thing about destroying data. I did not want to do that. Okay, back up. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Arms triggered. Nice. This is an easy. This is an easy spy mission compared to some of the later ones. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. The segment is yours. Head to extraction. Nice. Let's extract. As every moment passes, the Asperus burrows deeper, revealing you. 
Uh, so it did launch on P. Uh, it actually did come out in PS3, did I? I didn't realize that. I didn't know this game came out in PS3. Jeez, that'd be a rough system to play this game on. I mean, the Switch is actually more powerful than the PS3 in terms of GPU. Um, which I know is a weird thing to say, given the, the vast difference in the two consoles. Uh, the Switch has, like, eight times as much memory and a much better GPU. Ah, oh, jeez. Dude, this is what I mean about you just you just speed run your way through stages like this. Yeah, we don't need to shoot anything if we... It is kind of worth it for the XP, I guess, but yeah, we don't have I fell through I fell through the world, I think. I fell off the edge. And all these maps we're doing are procedurally generated out of segments, so if someone else did this mission, they might get a different map layout to the one we just got. And this is what you see when you beat the mission. And we got mods, which we will learn about probably as the game tells us about them. I love the face on this warframe. I wish I'd picked this before. Welcome back, operator. The operator has recovered a segment. <laughs> Install it now. Orders patiently awaits its installation. Get communications online. I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your warframe. This technology is beyond the Grenier. It must be Corpus in origin. Systems engaging. Hey, look. We un- <laughs> We unlocked the microtransaction store. <laughs> no, literally, that's what we just just unlocked. That's what this is. The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact all black markets. I noticed actually we got uh, contact arms dealers. We we, we got uh, some free. Uh, it's platinum. Is the name of. Excellent idea, Ordis. Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, Operator? Ah, no, it's all In this uh, back case, out. compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. Right, yes, we will do that. Yeah, so uh, this is where you can this is where you can buy real money and do so if you want to buy skins and stuff like that. It's all available through here. I believe everything you can buy can be earned in game somehow. The other thing you can do too, um, although actually I think the one thing you can't if I go here and I hit the I button you get appearance. And you set colors, and these need to be purchased. I don't believe these can be up. So we could do that. No, I'm, I'm not going to worry about setting colors. Oh, let's look at this. So this is the map. Um, Every one of these planets, if you saw what Earth looks like, um, every one of these planets has like huge numbers of zones all over. I, I don't know if I can show like, let's see if we it up for example. So yeah, you can see Jupiter just has a huge number of, and there's like a pathway through them and there are gates that you've got to unlock. Uh, if I go back to Earth, whoop, go over to Earth. See, yeah, you can see on the. On no, okay. It, there are these places called relays that you can go to. I uh, just want to have a look. Uh, if we dive into Venus for a second and see something, because Venus is where. Okay, so it doesn't. I can't see the planes of Eidolon anywhere on Venus there. I can't see a lot of what should be on Venus. I'm not sure what I'm seeing there. Uh, not Planes of Eidolon, um, Fortuna. I can't see Fortuna there. 
Uh, but there, there's a lot in this game. Like we're talking more than five years of uh, five years of progress here. So E Prime is where we start. Right, the imprisoned armies. Yeah, this, I, I guess I'm doing a little bit of an introduction to Warframe while we do this as well, because, I don't know, I feel like introducing the concepts. Also, it helps to get it right in my head, because it's been a long time since I've really played, like, I, I played Warframe a bit back in, like, 2015, 2016, and then I didn't play it for a long time, and I got heavily into it earlier this year, where I put most of my time into it, and, like, because the game changes so much... Like, it's so different from what it was back then to what it is now. Um, it's like, what even is this game anymore? I love the way you jump out of your shit like that. The arms dealer is named Darvo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. Uh, Darbo is was out for himself, but he is sympathetic toward the Tenno. The Grenier must have found out. The so, Grenier are one of the yes. factions. There are multiple factions. They like how Destiny has like the um I see. Um, the shadow Vex and the, all the guys under here. It's basically the same thing as that. Focus on the mission. Except this game is much better at explaining what they are and what they're there for. You. I'm angry at you. Whoa. Wow. Th th those thin ones go down. <laughs> I'm melee my way through this. <laughs> melee weapons feel so good to use in this game. Like, it's really surprising for a game that's meant to be all about the shrewd bang. How the melee is. And and it's funny too because one one of the very good things that Destiny does have is good melee as well. So both games in that guard. And I, I will compare this game to Destiny mercilessly because it's so much better than Destiny. And it's trying to do a similar thing to Destiny, I think. If you can avoid detection by the warden, it may be easier to get Darvo out. Bypass the security so we can enter. Basically, they're saying, don't shoot. You've been spotted. Get ready for a fight. I said, what's in Oh, that's fine. Okay. One of Search these. these cells for Darvo. He has to be here somewhere. Timing was off. I I will. For this tunnel, I will get my entourage to meet us in orbit once we're clear of this mess. Oh, follow me. Extraction is ready. Remember, your success here depends on getting Darvo out of there alive. The Lotus must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpus. Let me aside, Antino. I'll cover you. 
<laughs> this is a really cool thing you can do. Where where is Darvo? Right this is a really cool thing you can do if I can I have to kill this guy and fly away. But if you if you've got an escort mission, you can actually uh, where are you? you can actually uh, give him a weapon, um, and he'll be able to do his shooting. Which is fine, except that sometimes it gets him killed. Now the ah. Ascaris has burrowed deep enough to give me influence. Shall we see how your shields work? The Ascaris is letting Vor control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. We've been locked out. Let's override the security. You're, you're on my team. Uh, I need to find out security level. So, this is the other thing that you do on these missions. If the alarm gets set off, like, you'll be unable to... Uh, to shoot. That is a big boss. So, there was a point in here. Override complete. Move on. Down. We should be able to go forward. Oh, where are we? Yeah, it's all the way down. Made it. Nice. Nice. We got all the things we wanted. And you can see we're ranking stuff up now too, so we've got more mods. Mods will be important later. I see the operator can enable the mod segment now. Ordis will be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. May I recommend fire? Now we can do more. Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your Warframe now. Go to the arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. Okay, so yeah, he wants us to look at the weapon upgrade. So we go here and we get that and we get to I add our mods. Find, operator. There are hundreds of these mods to locate. If my calculations are correct, there are exactly a lot of possibilities. Install the mod before we can continue. Uh, thanks for helping me out back there. I'm in your debt, and I often pay my debts. I recognize that device. It's a parasitic restraint. We corpus use something similar to keep our robotics in line. So, to settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Because I like you. <laughs> and well... A lot of my customers don't live long with these grenade dogs chewing off the system. I accidentally made myself blue. Here, use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. I mean, look here, see what I've got. Vor's Ascaris is burrowing into your warframe. I want that. I'm worried it will affect your mind. I and that's all I can put in. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. And I'm a nice blue color now, so I'll take that. Colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. All right, well, let's head there. Tenno, we may have a problem. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the surface so we can see what's going on. I'm impressed with how well this game works on the Switch, and like, visually how well it holds up um, at the PC version. Like, aside from clearly running at not very high resolutions, it, most of the visual sort of visuals of the game have held up. The frame rate's a bit rough, I've noticed like, uh, there's a few times where it, it, like, the frame rate's smooth, 
but it occasionally just hitches really badly um, like for like half a second or more sometimes it just seems to hitch i was afraid of this the grenier are here Ooh, and i cannot nice find any signs I'm, I'm of living colonists that, that random thing you that still have a job to do find the foundry segment This was once a prosperous, independent colony, until the Grineal arrived. The Queens fear you, but I will show them. Their love will return when I deliver you to them. The signal cannot be posted any further. Hurry, you are running out of time. feels great to play. Such a shame this is an entirely online game though, because you can't really play this game uh, No, I'm not doing I'm not using my abilities. Should be using my ability. You located the foundry segment. Now pick it up. Use my ability. Where is it? Oh, there. Good. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Murder all the things. We've got to murder 30 Soon enemies before we get out here. will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. I will there it is, it is your title drop. doting mother and bring you home. They spotted you. And I haven't. I never saw me. Arms have been reset. how obvious this is but one really interesting thing with this game is that the enemy types have male and female variants um and for similar classes um it's not always the most obvious thing in the world but you will notice if you pay attention to some of these grenier that some of them are girls
white. Okay. Oh, no. So I accidentally set a waypoint there. Yes, let's emote. Let's emote. That's a good idea. Ooh, and I got a card. Or that waypoint. I didn't mean to set that. You can do that, and I can just tap this out all the time. Is this a dead end? It is not. Might actually be. Oh, hang on, there's a corridor back there that I missed. What's that middle one? There we go. It may also be a dead end. Oh, this is not. This level is completely procedurally generated, by the way. I don't have any more. Yes, you can blow up the red crates, of course, you can blow up the red crates, it's a video game, why would you not be able to blow up the red crates? Barrels in this case. Drums. A video game, why would you not be able to do that? Extraction. There we go, extraction, we made it. Beautiful. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. So, if I remember correctly in the lore, Tenno is the combined entity formed by the Operator and... Would be wrong about that, but that's my memory of what... Your foundry segment is ready for installation, Operator. Will, will the Operator build a Cephalon to replace me? This is how you craft things. Foundry restored. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me. To expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. So you might notice a couple other things here. Archwings, oh boy. That's a whole nother type of game that's in this game General, for some reason. I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Cephalon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast and she would never eat those things. <laughs> you, you can go straight to uh, operator. I am sorry. Wow, you may want to get a new ship Cephalon when you can afford it. <laughs> that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources, if you can stand the cold. Do we like my colour or not? I, I accidentally set the colour to blue. 
I think it looks really cool. So, move. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, and while we're thinking about it, we do have access to, yeah. This is your sort of things you should be doing right now. And there's, um, as you get further in, there's things like little side missions and stuff that can pop up. Uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. It's, it's a really neat, uh, really neat system, actually. I am really impressed that they've managed to squeeze this entire game into this one. Oh, hey, do you see it on our leg there? That this outpost is host to several rich supply caches. I just noticed that. Raid the caches and take what you need. This outpost belongs to the Corpus, a secretive but extremely powerful merchant cult known to be working with the Grenier. Darvo will fill you in. Legions of robots, mindless automatons, freaking lasers. These guys are bad news, but they're also loaded, which is why you're here. Keep moving, there is more here. Technically, this is stealing, but don't let that bother you. The Corpus aren't exactly beacons of moral fortitude either. They sell anything to anyone. Don't get me wrong, I like profits a lot. But I don't sail my wares to the damn journey yet. That's unforgivable. You're on the sensors now. You've been detected. Oh, that, that's unfortunate. I was hoping not to be detected, but I guess... I guess that's happening now. Now we get the good music. Oh, boy. This is the other hacking minigame. Alarms successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. I can't see where I'm going. So the other big thing with the corpus is they have shields. But also if you blow their head their helmets off, they have human faces. I think they're all meant to be like undead or something. Like basically a race of like living like dead people or something. You get the exact uh done yet. Find the next cache. You almost have what you need. You have murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will it's kind of like a Doctor Who villain. task and bring you like a classic, to oh, classic series Doctor Who villain. Security there, mate. Yeah, good job. Oh, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah. 
time for extraction tomorrow. You've got all you came for. The Ascaris has reached your mind and rendered your lotus mute. You will return to me over your own free will. Whoa! I um blew blew everyone up, including myself. I actually did die then. Vector, although I I seem to have instantly re. Only get a bit of time before you respawn. I, I think. Okay. Oh. Nice, made it. You Not bad. Oh boy. It's terrible. I'm terrible at this game. So they were talking about the Lotus before, and I just want to point out that the actual sort of logo of this game is a stylized Lotus. So that's where that comes from. So your capacity for mods increases as you rank your gear and stuff up. This part of your journey is over, Tenno. I admire you for your struggle, but now, <laughs> I am part of you. Lotus, do something. Help the operator. We Grenier are millions strong, but with a flaw, we are diseased, rotting, sterile. But now, we have you! Operator, do not abandon me again. Build the countermeasure. I am. That's what's happening right now. I did this for my love. My queens, they will forgive my insubordination when I deliver you to them. Our love will be reborn as we feed on your divine blood. Our children will flourish without disease. And I will die at last, at peace. Father, grandfather. Okay, but what are you going to do now that I've what actually been here? you're doing? What a waste. Ten up. Good. You managed to disarm Boris Ascaris. I thought... I thought I lost you. Oh no. The Ascaris had a tampering failsafe. It's burrowed into you and armed itself. We'll need to find Vor before it detonates. Get to navigation. Boarding a Grenier ship to access their personnel records will be the fastest way to find Vor. Uh, okay. Operator, cool. what are you waiting for? I legitimately cannot. I'm changing my colors. Okay, the blue is. Or this assumes finding Vor implies violence. Hello, operator. May I suggest you access navigation and save your life? For my sake. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, I've only really got the classic help. I don't have a good black. I prefer that. You can also randomize your color. Or you can revert to the default colors, which might be what we do. Yeah, you can adjust. You can actually have different variants on that. 
I like this frame. It's a lot better than the uh, hang on. Maybe I should pick this when I start on the PC version. Taking the nav a sec. Doing it. But this is how it works. We are very doing it. The systems on this Grenier Galleon can be made compatible with your ship. Find and extract a navigation segment. Uh, hang on, there's a whole bunch of stuff back there. Just open. And smash that. You oh, have oh. murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queen! He said all that before, mate. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task and bring you to me. I said that before and it, it didn't happen. I removed it, remember? I did not want to be there. A lot is successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. Good work. We have what we... Wait. Tenna, coordinates in this nav segment put the Galleon on a direct course to a convoy of colonists. You have a choice. You can extract now, or you can disable this Galleon and save the colonists. Oh. Saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission. I recommend you head straight to extraction, but the choice is yours. Uh, what the hell? The Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. <laughs> I don't think I have an actual. 
actual time limit, but the game's just trying You've to make it sound. You've reached the ship's power systems. Destroy the reactor. More urgent than it otherwise. Destroy the fuel injectors. So you have health and you have shields. Notice the numbers up. Screen there. A lot bigger and easier to read on that. That should take the pressure off the colonist ship, but you need to get out of there. Get to extraction before the reactor goes critical. We've been locked out. Let's override the security. Uh, I don't find right now. Cool. I just want to say. Security consoles here? They're not interactive. Surely one of these security consoles. Damn it. I'm thinking it has to be a security console. It was literally exploding around there. Breach complete. We're free to proceed. I apologize, that looked really rough. Um, I was moving. Love, love that. Hey, we did it, we did it, we did it. The colonist ship has escaped. Oh. I admire your noble intentions, Tenno, but you must survive for the future of the system. I've got some endo out of that. That'll be important later. But old endo. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. The detonator is charging up. You need to bring Vor down. He thinks he can capture you again. Don't worry. I will be with you. Let us show him how much you have learned. Ugh. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Tenno? Facing Vor is the only way to rid yourself of him permanently. Well, I guess I am. I guess I'm gonna be as ready as I am. This is our chance. Vor has been stripped of his elite guard. He is vulnerable. Take him out. Oh, oh yeah, that's a, th that was a female one. Like I was saying, there are female ones. I think it's super cool. I could have saved the Grenier, but they cast me out. 
Maybe it's not too late to draw your divine blood. <laughs> I don't think it's super complicated. It's not like a, you know, like a, an act. I will put you down like a rabbit cobra. I don't have a sniper weapon. Sniper weapons are bows. You've been seen. Alarms reset. Oh. Everything in this game is super visceral. Your Lotus has sent you to die. You will join us one way or another. Sometimes you just die. Tenno, look. The Ascaris detonator has just disintegrated. It's as if it was directly connected to Vor. You're done here. Go to extraction. Dead. We got him. How did that not get to be a stealth kill? What the hell? Surely that was a stealth kill. You're on the sensors now. You've been detected. Fine. They won't be bothering us anymore. Let's get out of here. Beat the baddies. In the grand context of this game, Vor is kind of a nothing villain. <laughs> I think compared to some of the characters you encounter later. You've done it, Tenno. Vor's Ascaris is gone. You are free now. But your work has just begun. 
The origin system is in chaos, and it needs you, Tenno. Vor was just a part of the Grenier machine, and we have seen that the Corpus have begun amassing weapons of their own. It is a dangerous time. Ordis will gladly assist the operator in cutting a bloody path in whatever mission they choose. Oh, well, there we go. We will be at your side. There will be others too. It is time for the Tenno to return. So, what mission will you do next? Oh, I've got a whole bunch of needs. Just for playing the game, I guess. Was complete. Was complete. Now we get to do other stuff. It allows us to go to. Oh, that's right, we can go to Cetus, which is um, uh, Planes of Eidolon. Yeah. Well, the Planes of Eidolon's locked out to us, but that that's just because we haven't been to Cetus. So Planes of Eidolon is in this, which makes me think that the, uh, that the Venus one is as well. Oidus has been counting stars, Operator. All accounted for. I'll show you. I might need to do something to unlock it, or it may not be in the Switch version yet. You also have the option... So, you can see there my mastery. That's a slightly shorter than usual story. I am gonna leave it there tonight. Good fun. I had a lot of fun playing. Probably put more time into this, but probably not in soon. I'm gonna I'm I promise I'll be back at Red Dead tomorrow. I promise. Although not tomorrow morning because I've gotta do other stuff. So I'll be back tomorrow evening. Uh with Red Dead. Sorry, apologies. Slightly shorter than usual stream tonight, but uh I did start a bit late. And uh I do need to wrap some stuff I need to do tomorrow, so and to get a good night's sleep as well. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow.